the top Google search two days ago was, what is Hillary Clinton's age? Now, why does that matter? The former Secretary of State, former First Lady, former U.S. Senator is running for president. The worst kept secret in history. Everybody figured she was going to. And U.S. Senator Debbie Stabenow, the Democrat from Michigan, the senior senator now, uh, was one of those. And she's on the other end of our AT&T line right this very second. Welcome back to the program. Well, good morning, Michael Pesek. It's great to be with you. You have been with uh, Hillary Clinton many times, I'm guessing. Many times. You know, in fact, you know, interestingly, um, I actually met her the first time about, I hate to say it, 30 years ago. We were both five years old, I think. And uh, <laughs> uh, we were on a national panel uh, at a conference in Detroit on uh, uh, child abuse, protecting children. And she was a an attorney, and she was working with the Children's Defense Fund, and uh, she spoke, and I went, wow, that woman is really sharp, you know, and she was very passionate about children, and so um, uh, so I got to know her before she was, uh, before it was cool, you know, and uh, um, and then I've been with her, not only serving in the Senate, but um, frankly, 1995, I was in Beijing at the Fourth World Conference on Women, and I will never forget what it felt like to be there and have her as first lady give on what was uh, unfortunately a very controversial speech according to the chinese that women's rights were human rights and it was unbelievable to hear um, the women talking from around the world about the impact that that was having on so many women in fact still today so many women don't have that so uh, I've, I've known her in a lot of different ways and places and i'm uh, very excited to have her be our president well you're lucky charm for uh, these people it seems like because i remember that senator obama's desk was next to yours uh, yes that's right <laughs> before he became president and, and you yes me. i i always uh, i teased him that if i when he was sitting next to me if i'd known he was going to be president i would have been nicer to him but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, uh, but it, uh, I have had an opportunity to uh, know uh, know the president, to know uh, who I hope will be the next president in uh, a lot of ways. And, you know, she's that we, we often uh, have talked about the fact that we're both uh, Midwest Methodists, you know, and, and uh, Hillary comes out of that ethic of put your head down, work hard, you know, let your deeds speak, actions speak louder than words. You know, she's very much uh, out of that mold and uh and we just uh, had a lot of a lot of ways to connect over the years do you think it's possible that uh there's any truth to the rumor that you're being vetted as a vice presidential running mate with her oh i can't no i'm sure that, well i mean it's always nice to have your name you know out in the mix on things but uh um, you know, I, I don't think that that's accurate. I mean, I think that, uh, you know, she'll, she will be our candidate, uh, hopefully. She's working hard to earn it. And then, uh, and then she will, um, I think, I assume she will pick a man and that uh, she'll pick somebody from, uh, you know, a, a state with certain qualifications that she thinks will, will fit and will match her. But, uh, uh, you know, I've heard, people have asked me that, and I said, no, I, I don't think so. I want to be... Uh, and will be um, as a Senate leader, uh, you know, certainly someone that works closely with her on all the things we care about, you know, that, that directly affect whether or not we're going to have a middle class in this country. And that's my focus is that making sure that we actually have an opportunity for folks to have a fair shot to make it. And even though the economy's turned around and we, we have come a, a long ways out of the hole that was created by the Bush administration, we have a lot more to go because there's still such a gap in, in what those at the top, you know, are able to do and in, in making and in most people who are working hard. And, you know, they've got a job, but they're having to work two jobs or three jobs uh, to hold their head above water rather than one good paying job that allows them to have the opportunities that they deserve to have. So that's really, the, I think, the challenge for the next president. You're a member of what's called the most exclusive club in the world, the United States <laughs> Senator. Uh, and so, therefore, if you were asked to be uh, on the ticket or if you were asked to take a cabinet post, that would sort of be, a, in a funny kind of way of saying it, a step down, wouldn't it? Well, you know, I, um, I don't know. It would depend. You know, it, it's always hard to know in those situations. You have to know what it is, what the job is, and so on. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking for something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I very much 
I uh, love what I'm doing. And, you know, I'm uh, born and bred in Michigan and love the opportunity to suit up every day and go to work and, and fight for Michigan. Uh, but, uh, you know, you never know in situations. You just have to wait and analyze it if something comes. But I'm that is not something I'm, you know, looking for, to look for a, a different kind of position. I really think, um, uh, you know, I've worked hard. To, and I'm in, uh, now the senior senator from Michigan. I'm in a very senior spot. On committees, I co-chair the Manufacturing Caucus, which is bipartisan, and the Great Lakes Caucus, which is bipartisan. And so I've, I've worked hard to get into positions mm-hmm. where I can be the most help for Michigan. So I wouldn't give that up lightly. Hmm. What about, you know, I hear Candace Miller uh, is thinking of running for governor. It's, is, wouldn't that be sort of fun for you to come back uh, and, and be able to stay at home here and, and be governor for a couple terms? Well, I, I, again, I, I love Michigan. It was great being in the state house and state senate, mm-hmm. uh, but I don't see that as my path. I mean, I'm drill, I, at this point, I've uh, set my path and, and worked hard to get into a position that I think is the best for the state. So, uh, and it's not like I'm not home. I mean, I think I, I uh, don't know if I have more frequent flyer miles than uh, anybody else, but I have an awful lot because, as you know, I mean, I, I fly in on Monday and fly home on yeah. Friday. So um, I really do view the job as a long-distance commute to work. I really do. And uh, you know, a lot of people drive an hour and I fly an hour. So um, uh, it's it, I don't feel like I'm somehow, you know, away from Michigan. Okay, good. Well, it'll be, it's going to be a very intriguing presidential election uh, to say the least, and uh, we also appreciate your work on the uh, Bipartisan Hope for Alzheimer's Act. I know every person that I know knows somebody who's been affected by this dreaded disease, uh, including a couple of my grandparents, too, and uh, it would support 185,000 people in Michigan living with Alzheimer's and their families, and so we appreciate you announcing that legislation, and we will keep in close touch. It's the Health Outcomes Planning and Education for Alzheimer's Act, HOPE is what it spells out to, and uh, we'll be in close touch with you. Uh, See you around town, too. United States Senator Debbie Stabenow, who was close to President Obama, close to Hillary Clinton, and close to all of us right through your radio and television.